And the islands that we're looking at now are the Blasket Islands. Next stop, America. And of course, before the convict women were sent to Australia, well, they were sent to America. And there's the light coming down and, and there's sort of little streaks of light on the water. Just rays of hope because the story ended up not being one of complete despair but also there was hope. And I'm really, really hoping that by mid next year I will have all of the bonnets which is why it's so important for me for this fundraising to get me to Dublin because that the media that will come out of that time in Dublin, um, having that publicity from the President of Ireland and the Governor of the Prison System and the Lord Mayor and the Australian Ambassador to Ireland and all of the, the people that will come along to that event to, to see what's happened in the prison system um, of art um, telling this story, this colonial story, and having the prisoners there um, who mainly have come from around Dublin being part of making bonnets. And the bonnets they're making are for the women who came, were transported from either County Dublin or were, were transported on a ship that left from Dublin. So it's, I think it's an amazing sort of situation that um, they're involved in making these bonnets. The year is 1828, the month August, the day the 27th, and in the port of Cove, sitting on the water like the blackest of clouds, is the prison ship, Elizabeth. On board, 194 women, nearly all convicted for the most insignificant of crimes, as they huddle together in the darkness and on the edge of despair, the Elizabeth draws anchor and what seems like a single cry of anguish rises from the hold. In minutes the ship has become a small black dot on the horizon. My plan is that when all the bonnets come in at mid next year, then they will be all returned. I'm saying I'm taking the girls back home, giving the girls an opportunity, symbolically referring to the bonnets as the girls, giving the girls an opportunity to be returned home, having a special blessing of the bonnets in England towards the end of 2013. Then I'm planning for the bonnets to be exhibited in a number of places before they return back to Australia where they will become a permanent installation.